A guy told to me I started my business, but I failed. I quite at a point. There were some mistakes this guy did during his process. What the story I heard from this guy. But what are those mistakes, important mistakes a young entrepreneur is doing? This is Milad Akbari from Akbari Education. Welcome to your channel. As I told you, we're gonna cover the mistakes of a young entrepreneur, the important mistakes that during the initial stage of a business you are doing and it caused that you quit the job and fail in it. First of all, before going to understand how to manage a business, learning a business and these things, part of that remember to create your channel of selling your product learning the scale of how to sell whatsoever system a great erp system accounting system financial system selling system whatsoever you create in your business but if you cannot sell your product if your team cannot sell that product it is zero whatsoever great organizational charts the great products from one of the biggest advanced technology uh, countries you brought in whatsoever exists but if you cannot sell this product it is zero therefore you try to focus on from what way you can build your reputation and what skill is required for you and for your team that enable you to sell your product second one remember to ask advice of people ask, ask advice of those who can support you who can lead you to a better way of course during this way you have some of the guys who come from 1970 1960 1980 and they started their business they competed there and they grown and now they are a leading company but whether that guy is leading the company now and what was the situation on that time? What is the situation on current time? Do you know anybody as a successful but small company now as a young entrepreneur? Go to him, ask from him, learn from him, receive the advice from that guy and receive the ad right advice from the right person. And for the third point, remember, remember, there are a series of advices you're gonna receive you should not lose yourself among them point out what are the advices what are the options you have received and among them select whatsoever is perfect for your situation your country your budget your time and your family then you can go ahead with that then you can pick up the right advices and act as per that and do whatsoever the right decision come to your mind and remember that point. Fourth one, by forcing your team, it is impossible that you speed up the process of the work and have great results. It is impossible by pushing, pushing and saying that you do, 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 penalizing them, you end up with great results. Instead of that, try to influence them. If it is possible, influence them by piece work, performance-based bonuses and commissions. And in addition to that, you should influence and motivate them by your example, by the work you are doing as an example to influence your team. When they saw that you are working, then they will help you, they will support you. I remember a time there was a great entrepreneur, I saw who was working very closely with his team. Even his budget, his income was very high and he does not require to work with his team. But once he uh, off his job from, I mean from other business and come to the uh, another business to see what's going on there to supervise he was working individually with the rest of the team with very tough work and that influence and cause rest of his team that work with him he they cannot sit aside and see that this entrepreneur is working very well 
very hard they will come and will work and your work and your performance will be as a great um, indicator as a great influencer of their performance as well fifth one it is impossible that you have a perfect team hundred person especially at initial days of the work of course some missings some issues some problems exist in the world even if you hire the best ever person qualified person still there are some weaknesses issues and problems in his work and it's impossible that you push him and force him and you punish him that why this thing happened instead of that you should sit you should direct this guy you should guide him you should ask him for the next time to take take care of these areas by such a thing it can grow he or she can grow and become somehow perfect guy but it is impossible that you expect an initial day that a new young guy new even a qualified guy come to a new business and do everything perfect six one how many companies, how many successful companies you know now in the world as worldwide or in your country? And how many of them has started with great ideas, but they stopped, they failed in a way, in a place, in a time? What do you expect if, how many companies exist that if they do not quite on that specific time and they continued they will be in place of these uh, current leading companies of the world that's the case the place you decide to stop and you feel that continuing this business is a big failure is it the right time the right moment and the right point that you stop that rethink of that whenever you come to a decision to quite the job quite the work and quite the company think of that from where you have started what was your vision what was your dream and goal and what is the place of your vision and goal and dream now inside this world inside this situation and your country is there any place for that still can you grow? What's your expectation? And at that time, receive advice with your business idea from others. What they will say to you. Thank you so much for being with us till the end of the video. Can you subscribe and press the notification button? We can grow also by receiving the views and subscribers here. Thank you.